Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a card for you using the July 2019 Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit. This kit is in fact sold out, uh, but I will go ahead and show you what came in the kit. So let's go ahead and get started looking at that. As always, this set is just filled with all kinds of goodies and it's always worth the price. These retail for $34.99, but are definitely worth a lot more than that. So we'll open it up with the stamp set first. And it comes with a six by eight clear stamp set and the whole theme is lakes. So it also has some coordinating dies, but I always peel off the little stickies on my stamp set to get ready to just get creating. But look at all that, it's a layering stamp set and silhouette at the same time. So it's got a lot of great stuff in there. And then the coordinating dies that go with it. And I like to keep everything together, so I take my embossing bag and I just run over the tape so that it isn't sticky anymore. And then I grab one of my 5x7 Marietta magnets and I use those to keep all of my dies with my stamp set. And so yeah, a lot of great dies to coordinate beautifully with that stamp set. It also comes with a goodie pack, like always as well. And this one has some embossing powder and inks and it also has uh, a bunch of cardstock, and it was all wrapped together. I didn't mention it was all wrapped together with some like blue and green raffia, but we'll go ahead and swatch out that ink here in a second too. So there are two blue and two green, and that is actually the new Hero Hues paper, and those measured five and a half by eight and a half inches. I'll swatch out those colors. Those colors come in lime green, forest, dusty blue, sandstorm, and cocoa, and they all coordinate so beautifully together. Then it also has an embossing powder, and this is a half an ounce of blue pearl embossing powder, which doesn't look like much on this white cardstock. And I'll just dump that over the top if I can get the lid off. <laughs> I was having a time getting the, uh, the top off of there. It just kept breaking. <laughs> then I'll pour it all over um, I used Versamark ink, which is just that clear sticky ink, and then I'll heat set that. I kind of start at the back because some of those granules are a little bit heavier and I didn't want those to go flying off of there. And once I get that started melting, I'll pull my heat tool to the front. And as you can see, every once in a while when I drop it, it does have a light blue hue to it. So it's really, really pretty. Yep, check that out. Gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and get started stamping. To start off, I'm actually going to take some post-it tape and I'm going to mask this off to make a scene. I want to do some ink blending with the colors that you see up there. And some of those colors uh, actually have names and some do not. Um, but I'm going to start off with trying to make like a sunrise, possibly. So I'm starting off with that. I think it's like a Fiesta Yellow. I think that came with a previous kit from Hero Arts. And I'm just sponging that with my mini ink blending tool and a little sponge. And then I'm going to move on to some worn lipstick and I'm going to blend that into the yellow. And then I'm going to move on to some chipped sapphire. This is like my absolute favorite color combination right now for sunrise sunset. You could probably have it for either one, but I'm kind of in love with it. So um, you'll probably see it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, moving on to the chipped sapphire and I'm doing this on some Bristol smooth cardstock. It does blend pretty nicely on this Bristol Smooth, and these are the regular Distress inks that I am using along with the, the Hero Arts colors. I don't know if those are like a specific, like if they're meant for blending or what they are, but they blend pretty nicely together, and even with the, the um, Distress inks that I have. So it's I think it's pretty nice to, to have some options there. So you may not have all the colors of the rainbow for one particular brand, but if you you know, try blending together. You might end up coming up with some fun combinations. I'm going to heat that because I want to make sure that's dry before I put the tape down because I'm going to now do the lake part of my scene. So I'll stick that over the top of the yellow and then I'm going to move on to using, I think this was a Fiesta Teal. That's another one that came in a previous kit. And then I don't know that the other one actually has a name. So we're just going to use that one and it's like a, I don't know, you'll see. It reminds me of like a, just a deep blue green. And I thought that would be really nice for the bottom part of my lake. 
and then I'll just go back and forth blending. And the, the thing about these inks, the Hero Arts inks, is that they kind of sit on the surface for a bit, and then when they dry back, they look really beautiful. So right there it looks kind of splotchy, but it ends up drying back so nicely. And so I just keep working it, and then I just decide that um, when I'm happy with my blend, I'll stop blending and let it dry, and then be very happy with how it turns out. And I'll heat that a little bit because you can tell that it's kind of moist. So this way I can move on to doing some stamping. For my stamping, I just have another piece of cardstock, and I think this is some more Bristol, not that it really matters, because I'm just doing some silhouette stamping. I've grabbed the little fisherman along with a fish, and then I'm going to do some grass here in a minute too, but for those two silhouette images, I'm just going to grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink, because I want to make sure that these images are nice and a crisp black. So I'll stamp that out once, and then go ahead and stamp it again, because I want them to be very, very black clean up my mess and then I'm going to move on to the, the little grass pieces. I don't remember what those little grass pieces are called that have like the brown tops like reeds or something. Maybe they're reeds. I'm sure someone out there knows. But I'm going to do some stamping on the bottom just where the grass is and then I'm going to come in with that cocoa color and I'm going to do the top part of the reed with the cocoa. So I didn't cover the piece entirely with the green. I just you know, did the bottom part where the grass is, and then the reed part I did with the cocoa color. And I'm going to move my image up, and I'm going to end up stamping this several more times because I want to take those images and put those across the bottom of my scene. So I'll do the exact same thing several more times. Just making sure that I have enough room because I want to use the matching dies to cut these out. And then now we're ready to line up our dies, and I'm going to tack those down with some washi tape. Any low-tack tape would work. And then I will end up running this through my Big Shot. Normally I would probably grab my Sizzix Sidekick, but it was just at this point I think I was rushed for time, so I didn't want to have to cut pieces apart entirely. Normally I, as you know, when I have these Hero Arts kits, I like to make five, at least five cards, but I have been so bombarded with uh, other things that the Hero Arts kits have seemed to take the back burner, which is kind of sad because they're great kits. And so unfortunately, this is the only card I'm going to have for this kit right now. That doesn't mean I won't make one in the future, soon, hopefully, but I wanted to make sure and get something out there for you guys. And so, yeah, only one card this time, but keep an eye out, maybe there'll be more. And hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things once summer is, you know, starts to wind down a little bit. I'll have a little bit more time to start working on the future Hero Arts kits. In the meantime, I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere all of my elements down, trying to stagger those and put some on top of each other so that they're not, you know, they don't look completely the same, if that makes any sense. And I do have a lot of pieces that are going to overhang, which is not a big deal because we're just going to trim those off. And I kind of like the white border around those. It makes it a little bit, I don't know, different. It might not be completely cohesive with the rest of the scene, but I kind of like the way it looks. So here I'm just trimming off the excess pieces. I flipped it over and I just cut right along the edge. And then there you go. You have a little bit more of a cohesive scene. So I'll put that back inside of my Misty. And then I'm going to decide on my sentiment. And I figured if I was only going to make one card, I would probably use a sentiment that I would really get some use out of, which is the birthday sentiment. I'm always in need of birthday cards. Birthdays and thank yous seem to be the one that I am most in need of. So I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink once again to make sure that I have that stamped out very nicely. And then I'm going to take that and turn that over and I'll take my foam tape and I'm going to put that all across the back because there isn't a lot to this card as far as elements go. There's just some ink blending and that's it. So I'll peel off the backing paper and stick that down to my card base and that's going to finish off this card. So if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, guys, I do appreciate you stopping by.